Hey everyone, it's Meg and welcome back to more of my reactions to Batman the Animated Series or I guess I should say The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Today we're going to watch an episode called uh, Deep Freeze, which my dogs are barking, I don't know why, um, which probably is about Mr. Freeze, right? I would guess so. But yeah, let's start. I apologize in advance for the sheep's noises. The Adventures of Boomy and Yuna. No, Yuna wants to be Batman, so it'd be Yuna and Boomy. Boomy is such a sidekick, and he is younger, but he would totally just tag along. That's a gorgeous illustration. The eyes are so creepy. Shotguns. It doesn't seem to be working. Made me think of another plan. Okay. Nora. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Wow, I love these shots of him in the cell. Why does it want him? Help me. Oh. Got to give Mr. Freeze credit. That's the most original breakout this year. Yes, but I don't think he was behind it. Yeah. The expression of fear on his face. Rossum. Greetings, dynamic duo. I, I love that. What is it? Oh, that's a big kiss. Just wanna help. Just wanna help. All I make anymore are little friends to keep me company. Oh. Well, if it isn't old M9. Oh. Not really. I once created a smaller prototype for Grant Walker, constructing and I love his voice. Electronic figures he used in his park attractions. And why one of them was sent to kidnap Mr. Freeze. Yeah, what do they need Mr. Freeze for? Grant Walker. Okay, so I think it's someone we haven't met before. Ooh, that's beautiful. It reminds me of Jar Jar Binks, his hometown. This is Oceana, my prototype vision of the future. Oceana. That you shall help make a reality. Doubtful. We'll see. How are they not... Like, how does the military, the government not know that that entire mobile would kidnap mr freeze men like walker are obsessed with building was way. created they little things like how did they the not know stop them little things like the law <laughs> yeah like scanners and stuff maybe they do know just let it slide so those are robots i love the bat submarine those look like torpedoes oh intruder threat has been neutralized sir excellent Excellent. Looks like we're swimming home. Not before we have a talk with Mr. Walker. It's right there. There he is. Iconic. Even the cold gun works. I should do the same to you. Oh, you're practically immortal, my friend. Yes. Yep. Life trapped in this wretched shell. Yeah. What a miserable joke. But there is still so much to do. Mm. I want to change as you have. Fear. I'm like you. You're insane. Only you have the know-how to duplicate the accident that made you what you are. I want to live like this. Abandoned and alone. Get him, Victor. A prisoner in a world you can see but never touch. Mm. 
Old and infirm as you are, I'd trade a thousand of my frozen years for your worst day. Wow. Ugh. Oh no. What are you doing? <gasps> what? How'd you get her? She looks beautiful. Oh, I could do a Nora. <gasps> I could do a Nora cosplay. I trust you know the young lady behind the glass. You're planning this. Oh, the way his whole face and voice changed. My wife. Very well. Of course, they just know his weakness. And I mean, M Mr. Freeze is like a very valuable villain to have. He's so smart as a, like a scientist. And I mean, it, it just makes sense to me. Like he, it, he's very, very valuable. I love that his whole vibe change, his voice, his face when he sees her, because that's the driving force. I love his episodes in the animated series. I don't think there's been anything that I didn't like his depiction of, honestly. Like you can't really get it wrong. Most folks believe Oceana is just another theme park. We okay, so yeah, it was approved. From which a new race of people can spring. Um. Now, of course, you can't have spring without a little winter. Um. About five years ago, I'd say. To freeze them all. Oh, this is scary. All be warm as toast in here. As for those folks outside, well, it's sad, but I'm only speeding up what they were doing to themselves. Uh. Brother, he's all hard, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's a yeah. And he's letting his fear guide him, fear of death and and his ego, you know, ending. And he's manipulating them with fear as well. <laughs> this is very sci-fi. It reminds me of uh, Brave New Metropolis. And it reminds me of Wizard of Oz. You can add free will to that list. Exactly, too. Robin. Nope. Your order for your select few. Excuse mm -hmm. me, but I fail to see the problem with that. <laughs> what? This is so relevant. Ah, crazy. He does not believe in this. I don't know what Walker said or promised. What do you think? It's Nora. You can't help him go through with this plan. I have no choice. Mr. Freeze, I would love a story where he kind of breaks out of being Delulu delusional but the problem is Nora is there's still the potential you know and I hate how people use Nora against him it's horrible okay I have a feeling this might not work oh no oh my god Incredible. I have done what you wanted now leave me alone with my wife He's not. You think you're alone now? Wait until she learns the truth. I yes. No, but you need to admit that. Batman's so good with logic and reasoning in the animated series. You know, because you love her, you know. At this point, it's a selfish decision. Come, there is much to do. Okay, he changed. He just broke out of being Delulu. <laughs> he just, Batman provides the truth that he needs to hear because that's always what it comes down to. Like, does Nora want to be in that kind of cryo state? Does she want to see who he's become, what he's sacrificed, what he's done? Probably not. And he does ultimately love her and he needs to be reminded of that. You are a wannabe. This is a terrible cosplay. Nice. You may live forever, Grand Walker, but your mad dream dies now. Yep. You could have just made a water park. They're just watching. I was like, could they help them evacuate? Yeah, okay, thank you. <gasps> oh, that was fast. Nice. Let's go. I'm staying with Nora. Don't be a fool. This whole place is going under. 
I won't lose her again. Oh my goodness. There's nothing you can do for her. Come with us. I am the least of your worries. Oh. Take the boy and go. Oh my god. Relax. You're going to be okay. Oh. God damn it. We're together again, my love. And he's gonna stay alive. <laughs> Oh, yeah, see, is that what you wanted? Because that's what he was trying to warn you of. But if Freeze's condition has made him truly immortal, we may not have seen the last of him. Yeah. <laughs> he worships her. Oh! I loved and hated that one. <laughs> I loved and hated that one. He always gets me. No matter what, his episodes always freaking get me. I love the juxtaposition of him being arguably the most emotional Batman villain. The deepest feeler. The most emotion and intense emotion. And that's his motivating force is his love for Nora. And then so much ice, you know, he's Mr. Freeze. He's supposed to, he claims, and he's supposed to have frozen emotions. You know, he's unfeeling and it's just the opposite is true. I love that because it's like opposites, juxtaposition. And it's really, really interesting. Um, I love how the show cut between Nora and Robin so quickly to create that, um, the similarities in what would you do for someone that you love? How far would you go? And I think that it was the showrunners and the artists and the acting, but also the it was Mr. Freeze, you know, freezing Robin to talk to Batman. Because honestly, I think that Batman understands Mr. Freeze. And I think Mr. Freeze understands Batman. And that's why they kind of struggle. And a lot of the times they agree on things or they need to talk it out. And him more than any other villain, it's like, okay, you just need to be reasoned with. Like, I understand you love her. He's not... The, you know, billions of people are going to die didn't work. Um, just, you know, the destruction, it didn't work. The reasoning that worked for him was like, she, you love her so much and she's, she's awesome. You know, she would not agree with your actions and you allowing this to happen. Um, and that got to him because... I feel like if you, if we all care about someone or love them really deeply, whether that's a romantic partner or family or whoever, our morals get blinded. And I mean, who's to say who Batman would be if his parents had entered like a life threatening state and then just went into like cryo sleep? I don't know. But you, I just love Mr. Freeze because it really makes you consider who's my Nora and maybe I would do something extreme as well to, um, you know, bring her back to life, bring, make sure that I can stick around. And I know his origin is more like it's an accident in the lab as he's trying to keep her alive or yeah. And naturally, she's supposed to be dead by now. It's really sad. Um, but yeah, I think that was Mr. Freeze's way of telling Batman, like, I just want to, I want to go down with her. Take, you know, take care of the boy. You go with the boy, I'll go with my wife. And 
the shots of him kneeling and you know going to touch her hand are just so beautiful and powerful and the way he says my wife and the, the freaking voice actor is so good and then also it's just like it's super relevant and it's uh just a very important concept to explore and that's why it kind of reminded me of brave new metropolis which in part is based on brave new world by al jewis huxley which i did study in high school and it's this promise of a utopia with huge sacrifices and i actually read a romance book slave to sensation it's it's more significant than the title um but their humans have become so different that they evolve so differently that there's different races or sub races within them and there's like the psi race who have had a procedure to remove their emotion and just like be very practical and just literally no emotion and then there are like changelings who are very emotional and in tune with nature and are shapeshifters um as animals and stuff and this promise of a utopia and like no if you don't want any crime then yeah there's no free will as robin said and if a politician is pushing law and order that's a huge red, red flag like if they're running for president or some kind of leadership or they say i'm going to keep you safe through law and order cracking down on the law you can best believe they are trying to manipulate you and also sure there might be more law and order but at what cost probably innocence being imprisoned innocence um being killed a militarized police state for-profit prison systems so um yeah and i don't even know if that's necessarily the case for this little utopia i forget what it's called utopia but the idea of a little carved out space for those who are worthy and eligible and then billions die outside it's it's giving colonialism imperialism it's giving um i'm gonna create a nation state on that that indigenous people lived on and i need to, i need to do this because it's my homeland yada 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 um and you're gonna kill literally billions of people reminds me of you know hitler and the Holocaust and Israel and the Palestinians that are currently dying. Um, and just like, you, you're not owed a space just for those, like just for a few people. You can't kill billions of people just because of a phobia. And Hitler is different because he wanted to, you know, kill every last you in, in the world and like it was just like fucking unhinged but germany was going to be that utopia and then through expansionism probably other stuff i don't know i have to refresh it's hard for me to read that stuff <laughs> like his own writings because i'm like dude you're fucking yeah but this it's like he called it a, like a garden of eden so there's that religious tone to it as well um, it's just not natural and you cannot claim to only care about a certain group and then murder the people who are on the land or close to the land in this case. Um, and I love that they showed Grant Walker as everything that he is because he was quite charming. He was quite charming to Mr. Freeze at first. He seemed just like an old man who wanted to live forever. But then as soon as he got in that suit and afterwards, the smiles were so evil, so evil. Um, and he, you know, 
he wanted to live forever and that's yes it's like a fear of death but it's also very egotistical and he wanted the success of his dream as well again very egotistical um because he didn't care i don't think he really cared about the people coming in to live in that utopia he just wanted the success of his dreams and he certainly didn't care about the people whose lives would be sacrificed for it so um i just love that they showed him for all that he was and he's he was more of a villain than mr freeze <laughs> it's, it's it's just crazy and i just wish we had a batman nowadays you know um because he just gets it he really does and i especially love his relationship with robin and mr freeze in the animated series because i don't know just kevin's voice acting too he's so open so emotional and so you know logical and reasonable and i just i really love their connection their shared trauma and he even says sometimes i get it look i get it but yeah a fake utopia garden of eden promised land god's chosen people grant walker's chosen people to live forever at the expense of just a few billion i mean you can't you can't not apply it to 2024 it's it's sad but it's also like reassuring that we have these superhero stories that still teach us and it still applies to what's going on today why can't this be heaven as john lennon said why couldn't he have spent his resources on Gotham and that's honestly what Batman is doing that's the sweetest thing about Batman he has every reason to hate Gotham City and to resent it and to leave and he did leave I think about that a lot he left as a young adult and traveled and learned and he came back because he wanted to fight in the way that he knew how to fight and make it better and um he wasn't gonna let Grant Walker <laughs> destroy everything but anyways, I could talk on and on. I love that episode. Thank you so much to my tier four patrons for producing this video and all my other YouTube members and patrons for supporting the DC journey. I'm excited to see where both Superman and Batman go. And I've heard that there's going to be some mashups with the two of them. So I'm super excited. Oh, no pun intended. Um, I will see you guys for the next one. Be well. Love you. Bye.